Hi, this is a two minute video illustrating slurry supported soil bentonite wall construction. For many years we've been able to go to 27 or 28 meters using large excavators. Beyond that we use equipment such as crane supported clamshells. The key in all forms of slurry supported excavation is of course the slurry. So we keep a bentonite slurry in the trench about a meter or two meters above the groundwater level. Bentonite cakes out and forms a surface at which the trench pressure counterbalances the earth pressure. Here's a job in Cachada, Louisiana to dig a cutoff wall around a coal mine to limit their dewatering requirements. You can see the excavator just digs out underneath that slurry head which keeps the trench open. One of the advantages to the excavator method is that if necessary you can present that material to the engineer to verify what he's keying into. The other thing about the 120 ton excavator is that when he puts weight on the back of that bucket he can work through a variety of cobbles and boulders. He can also, if necessary, park on the bottom of the trench and track backwards, scraping the bottom clean as we introduce the backfill. It's very important to make sure that you have backfill all the way through the trench alignment and no windows or more per of more permeable material. Now, that backfill is being mixed on the very far end of the trench. This is kind of the view looking back at the excavator. What we're doing next to the trench on the far end is mixing a little bit of bentonite with high fines content native soil. And when that meets our quality control requirements, it'll be plowed into that lead-in side of the trench and flow down, like flowable fill, flow down into the trench, displacing the slurry. Here's another shot of the bulldozer mixing that, that backfill. On many jobs nowadays, we do actually use excavators to assist in backfill placement. Again, quality control being essential. And then finally, overall sequencing here in time lapse. The excavator is simply going to work backwards, keeping the trench open with slurry, and then on the very far end, the backfill is being placed.